Hello, I've seen a lot of um, instructions from motivational type uh, books and CDs, etc. which basically say that it's really important to have a positive mindset, which we all agree, um, and that if you read newspapers and follow the news, that can actually have a negative effect on your mindset. So you might be better off avoiding doing that. However, there's two sides to this coin because it's also the case that we we now live in an age where intelligence and the mind is really key and creativity and the ability to generate new ideas is also key because it's part of that. And uh, I was reading, I've read, read lots of stuff on this recently, but uh, I was reading a book called A Technique for Producing Ideas by James Webb Young. It's about 60 ideas ago that it was written and he was in advertising so it's all about being creative um, but what it explains is that an idea is simply where the mind our mind produces links between different things in our brain different knowledge um, and it just what what it does is it sort of links two things in a different way to the way we've done it before which produces an idea now the two things it links could be things we already knew you know, existing knowledge, or it could be new knowledge. So you could be linking two bits of existing knowledge, or you could be li linking some existing knowledge as some new ideas, some new knowledge. And the links are what form the ideas. So then this book basically talks about a five-step process, and the other stuff I've read says so, so similar, a five-step process for generating ideas. And the five steps, and this is where, this is where I would disagree with you know not reading papers not following the news etc because the five-step process the first one and the one that most people agree is actually the most important is this one where you collect your raw material your data now raw material or data um, the more you know about a product that's called specific data the more likely it is that you can describe it in some way to make it attractive to someone else so uh, Maupassant, the uh, French writer, describes the, uh, the idea of writing, the art of writing, as seek out a taxi driver in Paris, and then this taxi driver will see the same as seem the same as any other taxi driver. But your task is to find out as much as you can about this taxi driver, such that you can then describe him or her to a reader in enough sufficient detail to make this taxi driver seem completely different to every other taxi driver so that's what's meant by specific data so it's the same if you were trying to market a product you need to know enough in depth about the product or service to be able to describe it in sufficient detail and depth and the advantages and benefits of it that it makes it stand out as being different to other products but that's only one half of it so that's what's called specific raw material but you've also got what's called general raw material. Now, general raw material. So the way this works is it's been proven that people who generate lots of ideas, people who are creative, are interested in wide ranging things. You know, they're, they're very curious. They read a lot. They experience different things. And there's two types of experience. You can either experience things directly or you can experience things vicariously. Now, vicariously means things like watching on TV, watching films, but also reading, listening to tapes, etc. So one of the issues I've always had with this is that if you're talking to someone who, um, you know, you're trying to persuade your idea or your product or your service, then to me, if you're not aware of what's going on in the world, then you come across as pretty stupid and ignorant <laughs> without causing offence. So to me, you know, not following the news and not reading newspapers just seems pretty stupid. However, it goes beyond that because it's backed up by this because following what's going on in the world, you know, the news, general affairs and, and everything else, you know, the more wide ranging interest you have, the better. And um, that gives you more and more knowledge in your brain, which means there's more and more possible links in your mind between this bit of knowledge and this bit of knowledge, which means you're more and more likely to be able to come up with ideas. So to me, you know, not, not being aware of what's going on, not reading the newspapers, not following the news is counterproductive in this sense, as well as being counterproductive in the sense that you'll come across as, you know, pretty not knowing what you're talking about. <laughs> Um, so this five step process, so that's the first one and it's the most important. And then the other four steps are 
you then allow the brain to chew on this raw data, to masticate it, he calls it, or they call it, uh, basically to play around with it, to toss it around from one angle to another. Um, and again, the more information you've got, both specific and general, the more links there are to chew around. And then you drop it, you basically leave it go, and you trust to the fact that your subconscious mind will come up with some ideas. Uh, and eventually what tends to happen is an idea, an idea will pop out when you're least expecting it because you've just gone off and played golf or gone fishing or gone for a walk or gone for a bike ride or something. This idea pops out. And then what you then need to do is subject it to the cold light of day. So you need to sort of um, analyze it, see how practical it is, but also uh, toss around its advantages and disadvantages with other critical people. So basically get a team or your colleagues to brainstorm the idea to you know come up with new suggestions new ideas because they'll come up with things to improve the idea so the basic of all the basis of all this is what it is that okay avoiding the news and avoiding um newspapers might mean that you'll be more positive rather than negative that could be true however in terms of the creative mindset your mind being creative then the more knowledge it has, both specific about your particular product or service or whatever it is, but also general, i.e. background knowledge of, of as wide ranging uh, things as you, as you can get, the better in terms of being creat creative and coming up with ideas. So I'll, draw, I'll, I'll leave you to draw your own conclusions, but my uh, conclusion to all this is that you can never you can never read too much and you can never know too much and you can never be curious about too much. And the more you're interested in, the more you read and the more you're curious about, the more likely it is that your brain will be stimulated and that it will see connections between different bits of knowledge and that it will suggest ideas and creative and creative creativity to you. So that's my take. So I don't personally go along with the idea that says don't watch the news and don't read the papers because they'll make you feel negative and they'll depress you. But you may disagree. And obviously, if you do, I quite welcome the discussion. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, thank you very much for watching today.